In this video, we will solve the problem 1.11 from the textbook Mechanical Vibrations from Sigurd Sorrell, 6th edition, chapter 1. My name is Carmen Nidro We will calculate the constant of the spring needed to reduce deflection. So we have here a machine which is represented by this mass M that is mounted on a simple supported steel beam of length L equals 2 meters having a rectangular cross section of deep 0.1 meter and width 1.2 meters and a young modulus of 2.06 times 10 to the 11 pascal. To reduce the vertical vibration of the beam, a spring of this FK is attached at the mid span as shown by here. And we would like to determine the constant of that new spring to the reduced deflection by 25% of the original value, 50% of the original value, and 75% of the original value. For this particular problem, we will neglect the mass of the beam compared to the mass of the machine. The first thing that we will do is analyze our system initially without the additional spring. This system can be modeled as a mass with a spring. This is an equivalent spring. You can find the table for equivalent mass, spring, and damper in the textbook. And here, if we scroll down, we found the equivalent constant of a spring for a simple supported beam with a load and the middle. Therefore, our constant equivalent of the spring is 48 EI over air cube. And I, which is the area moment of inertia, is 12 BA cube. The cross section of the beam right here, we have that the depth is 0 0.1 and the width is 1.2. Therefore, we have that I is equals to 1 over 12, 1.2, 0 0.1 cube. And that's equals to 10 to the negative 4 meter to the fourth. Therefore, we can calculate the equivalent constant of the spring, which will be 48. And the young model is also given, which is 2.06 10 to the 11 newtons over meter square times i, which is the number that I just calculated, divided by 2, which is the length cube. That gives me an equivalent constant of 1.236 times to the 8 newtons over meter. The next step is to calculate the static deflection of the original system. We have that our model is the mass, which has a weight and is supported by my constant of the spring that is deflected as static deflection. If we are in equilibrium, we have that the constant of the spring times that static deflection will be equals to the weight, and the weight is mass times gravity. Therefore, we have that the static deflection will be the mass times the gravity divided by the constant of the spring that we just calculated. We are given the mass of the system and times the gravity will, will take 9.81 over the number that we just calculated. That gives me a static deflection of 3.9 times 10 to the negative 5 meters. Now we want to add another spring. This is this system. Here we have the mass, we have the spring due to the beam, and we add another spring. The springs are in parallel. Why are they in parallel? Because they have the same deflection. Now we want to find the static deflection for the system with two springs. We have again our system which has the weight equals mass times gravity and now we have two forces. 
the force of the spring, let's call it one, and the force of the spring two. And our equations will be that both springs add up and we have the same static deflection for both equals to the weight. And we demonstrated that in the theory, but also in your table, you have that when springs are in parallel, the constant of the springs add. Now we go back to the problem in which we want to determine the value of this constant of the spring to reduce the deflection in 20%. This means that the new stack the deflection is 0.25, the static deflection, which is the same as saying that the static deflection divided by 4. Therefore, we have that the equation becomes the static deflection divided by 4 equals to the weight. We will solve for the constant of the spring, and we have that the new constant of the spring will be equals to 4 times the mass times the gravity divided by the static deflection minus the con equivalent constant of the spring of the beam. Since the original constant of the spring was mg over k, let's simplify our equation. This is 4mg divided by mg times k. Then I can cancel out the way. So this is the spring that we want to add in order to reduce the deflection in 25% is three times the equivalent constant of the spring of the beam. That means that the constant of the spring is equals to 3.71 times 10 to the 8 newtons over meters. Part B of the problem is that we want to reduce the flexion to 50% of the original value. Therefore, the new static deflection will be 0.5, one half of the original static deflection. So we have a very similar equation than previously, but instead of having the deflection divided by 4, we have divided by 2. We solve for k, and we get this expression over here. And we get that the new constant of the spring is equal to the constant of the spring of the beam. That means that the constant of the spring is equal to 1.236 times 10 to the 8 newtons over meters. In the last part of this problem, they ask us to reduce the deflection to 75 of the original value. That means that the new static deflection has to be 0.75, the original static deflection, which means it's three-fourths the static deflection. We have the same equations as before. We solve for k. Then we have 4 mass times gravity divided by 3, the original deflection, minus the equivalent constant for the beam. And we do the same simplifications as previously, and we get that the constant of the spring has to be one-third of the original equivalent constant of the beam, which gives us a constant of the spring of 4.12 times 10 to the 7 newtons over meters. With that, we finish our problem that we need initially we had a simple supported beam. This was the model. We added a spring and we wanted to reduce the deflection in 25% reduce the deflection in 50% and reduce the deflection in 75% of the original value.